Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, so I am coming today to do a TBR game that I saw on How to Train Your Gavin's channel. And um, it's a little card game. Mine's going to be a little bit modified because I don't have as great of a setup. But I do have all of my TBRs in my little bag here. And um, I'm only going to pick, um, do this three times. I do have some other books that I'm in the middle of right now. I'm reading um, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon with uh, Beth from Books Nest and the Patreon group for our book club read. And um, I'm also reading a couple um, books from NetGalley. So I'm only going to pick three now. And if I get through those in June, then I will pick some more. I'm not quite as quick of a reader as others. But um, with that being said... I'm going to grab um, the first book that I want to read. And the first book that I want to read is called Mary Jane, and this is by Jessica Anya Blau. So um, just a quick uh, little excerpt from this book. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is like 1970s Baltimore, 14-year-old Mary Jane. Um, loves cooking with her mom, singing in the choir, yada, yada, yada. Um, she works as a nanny um and uh sorry i don't want to read the whole thing it's really long um but anyway she lives in like a really respectable home and uh this house that she's starting to nanny for is really eccentric um they're really into like rock and roll and drugs so it's kind of like her introduction to this lifestyle um so it's like her summer um basically into that that type of world of uh, like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So this is um, the book I want to read. And set that there for now. Um, that is going to go up against. I'm kind of scared because there's a lot of books in here that it's not that I don't want to read them, but some of them are some classics and some are series that I do want to read, but sometimes series, there's just a lot in this series. And um just feels a little overwhelming, so. Okay, all right, first one I picked is called, um, I don't know if you can see that, Stones by Philip Norman. So this book actually is a biography. So I actually don't mind these. I've just had this on my shelf for so long and I haven't read it yet. So we're gonna put this up against my Mary Jane book. And what we're going to do is I'm going to draw five cards. And the first card I draw, if it's a higher, or I'm going to show the card, I have to pick higher or low. If I get it wrong, I lose. And I'm reading the stones. If I get them right throughout the five cards, then I will get to read my choice of the month. Um, if aces and jokers are high or low. So I win either way on those. Um, so let me give this a little shuffle. There goes a card. Not cheating, I promise. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle. All right, we're going to cut the deck. All right, my first card is a king. So I'm obviously going lower than a king. I got a five. Okay, five. I'm gonna go higher on a five. Don't. Oh, I lost. That sucks. That sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, suck. Like I don't mind reading this, but I really, really wanted to read Mary Jane. Okay, so Stone's first book out of the three I'll be reading. Put this one back for next time. Okay. Sorry. All right, the next book that I want to read is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. It's the second book in the Grishaverse of the um, Shadow and Bone trilogy. So that is the one I want to read. And, okay. Pick out this bag of torment. I need to find a TBR that's not to be read. It's like torment books or something. All right. Yeah. Next up. All right. Hallowed by Cynthia Hand. So this is a start of a series that I think I picked up at like a secondhand bookstore. So I honestly don't even remember what this is about. Um, it's called an unearthly novel let's see um you know i'm not gonna read this unless i actually have to read it so put this one up against siege and storm give these a little shuffle here okay and we're gonna 
shuffle a couple times. All right, top card here, a king again. I'm going to go lower, an ace. That's either or, so I'm just going to stick with low. Uh, I'll make this low card, and I'm going to choose my next card as high. That was two, okay. Ooh, jack, cool. So that's a high card. I'm going to go lower than a jack. Seven. Shit. Hmm. Mm, my gut instinct is to go higher, so I'm going to go higher than a seven. Oh, gosh. I am not doing very good at this. Okay. Well, that is my second loss. So I am reading Hollowed by Cynthia Hand. If anybody has read this, please let me know how you liked it. So this book says, For months, Claire Gardner trained to face the fire from her visions, but she wasn't prepared for the choice that she had to make that day. And in the aftermath, she discovered that nothing about being part angel is straightforward than as she thought. Now torn between her love for Tucker and her complicated feelings about the roles she and Christian seem to be destined to play in the world that is both dangerous and beautiful, Clara struggles with a shocking revelation. Someone she loves will die in a matter of months. With her future uncertain, the only thing Clara knows for sure is that the fire was just beginning. And this compelling sequel, oh shoot, this is the sequel. I'm dumb. Sorry, guys. Um, so we'll just continue. Unearthly. This is the first book. My apologies. This is the one I'll be reading. Uh, so yeah, having, uh, angel blood run through her veins not only makes her smarter, stronger, and faster than humans, uh, word that no longer applies to her, but it means she has a purpose, something she has put on this earth to do. Figuring out what that is, though, is not easy. Her visions of a raging forest fire and an alluring stranger lead her to a new school in a new town where she meets Christian who turns out to be the boy of her dreams. La 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 la. This just reminds me of Twilight but an angel version instead of vampires. So there you have it. Second book not super happy about. What do you do? Okay. And the final book that I want to read and if I lose this one I'm going to be very upset. I really want to read Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. And oh, this one is going to go up against Oh, God. kill me, kill me, kill me. Don't kill me, but oh my God. I need strength from above. I got can you read that? Probably not. My handwriting's horrible, but it is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. I started this book once upon a time and I shelved it for a time because I just could not stand it. But here you have it. I do not want to lose this because I hate this book. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I hated this book so far, but I want to finish it. It's thick, but I want to finish it. But I don't want to finish it now. So please, hopefully, I do not lose again. Because that would be over for 3. If I lose that one, I may have to do one more. Just because. Alright. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, top card. We have a queen. Good. Hi. I'm going lower than a queen. Five. Higher than a five. Ace, that's my wild card. So I can choose either way. I'm going to choose it as a low card. So something higher than that is a four. How many cards was that? That was three. Okay. 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 Higher than a four. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if I get the same, I have to swap it out with the next card on the top of the deck. So I said higher than a four. Whew. Nine. This is difficult. This is really, really difficult. <laughs> Ah, uh, of course, my last card. Was that the one? One, two, three. Wait, was that? Was that it? One, two, three, four, five. No, I think that was it, guys. That's five cards. Holy moly, I won one. Whoop, whoop. One of these days, I'll get the hang of this game. But I am so excited to say I do not have to read David Copperfield. Thank goodness. Shelfing that for another day. So, put that back in my little baggy here. All right. So there you have it. I get to read Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. And 
Unearthly by Cynthia Hand and The Stones by Philip Norman. And then I'm going to be finishing again Shadow of the Wind by Carlo, Carlos Ruiz Zafon, which I'm really enjoying so far. I actually just started it and I'm about 100 pages in and it's a super involved book, but it's involved in a good way. Like there's so much going on in this book. There's so many lives intertwined. It's like a book about a book too. I love it so much so far. So that's really good. And then I'm uh, reading a couple of books on NetGalley. So um, I will start these soon. And then um, if I end up finishing all of these and I get to do another TBR game, I will tune you guys back in. But with that being said, have a lovely rest of your evening and I will see you guys later. Bye.